Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Heaven on Wheels. Today I want to talk about how do you pick yourself up when you fall? How do you pick yourself up when you fall? Well, we all go through things in life that sometimes can bring us down. The death of a family, the loss of a job, um, losing a friendship, a divorce, financial issues, health issues. So how do you pick yourself up when you're kind of having a bad day or a bad week or sometimes that even turns into a bad year? It turns into an extended period. The first thing I would say, if you wake up and you feel like you're having a day, a bad day, I would say get up and get dressed. You know, sometimes get out of the bed, get out of the house and try to find a way to maybe change your atmosphere and change your environment into something more positive. So get up, get dressed, put on some clothes, get out of the house and see if you can make it a fun day or just a day that um, you kind of get some things going for yourself. So get up, get dressed, get started would be number one. Number two would be um, meditate. Sometimes we need to take a breath and we need to meditate and just reflect on the things that we have to um, be positive for and focus on God and focus on the things that um, God has blessed us with. And that can kind of start your day off right by taking a moment to meditate. So number two, meditation can be a big factor in changing your mood after you fall or after you're down and you need to be encouraged. Number three, music. Music is always a good one for me. Putting on some good, positive music, upbeat music, something that has a good beat to it, good message that uh, can kind of get me going is always a good, positive uh, way to change my mood also to get me started when I'm a little sluggish when the day starts off. Some good music can always uh, change your mood and your emotion and sometimes remind you of the past and good times and things like that. So um, good music can always be helpful. Number four, get active, exercise, activity, get out and walk. Um, especially if you are in an area where the weather is nice, but sometimes even if you're in an area where the weather isn't nice, uh, maybe go to a, a mall or go uh, to a place indoors where you can walk around and you can be active, get the blood flowing, um, get the pheromones and all of the uh, positive energy and all of the positive nutrients in your body flowing and moving. Sometimes that can really get you started and, and get you get the adrenaline rushing and get you feeling better. The fifth thing that I would say um, when you're down and out or when you've fallen and you need to get up is I would say find some positive people. Find some positive people to surround yourself with. You know, misery loves company. So um, there's always somebody looking for a pity party that wants to join in. So sometimes even... Um, I've written screenplays and I've written books and sometimes I like to just go hang out with people I don't even know maybe at a coffee shop or um, Sometimes I've gone to Vegas to finish the last act of a screenplay I was working on and I just wanted to Just go sit at a sidewalk cafe or something and people watch and I don't know what it is about being around people that can sometimes infuse you, give you energy and creativity. I know in prison, um, one of the worst forms of punishment is solitary confinement. It's something about being isolated from people that can have a negative impact on you. So make sure you find um, positive energy from people who um, have good things to say people who have good energy and sometimes you just need to talk to people about what you're going through and sometimes you'll find out that you aren't alone that you aren't isolated and that you aren't the only person that is going through certain issues but sometimes you don't know that unless you share with others so number five is find some people to hang around that are positive or find a positive environment with people. Number six, I would say make a list of things you have to be thankful for. There's an exercise I like to do, which is a one minute exercise of writing 60 seconds, 
write down everything you have to be thankful for. Maybe your family, maybe your friends, your health, your job, whatever it may be. It's a 60 second exercise that I do. And I just take a sheet of paper and as fast as I can, I write down as many things as I have to be thankful for. So the final thing, number seven, things to do when you're down and out or when you fall, how to pick yourself up, help somebody else, benevolence, do something for somebody else, volunteer, go sit with a senior citizen and maybe read to them or help somebody that needs to clean up around the house or maybe they don't drive and they need someone to give them a ride to the store help somebody else help a young person do something for somebody else and it often will make you feel better so those are seven things that i would say can uh, help pick you up when you fall or when you're having a bad day or those bad days turn into weeks um, as always i hope you'll be encouraged i hope you will um, hit the notification button if you like this video click like subscribe so I can continue to do more videos like this and I hope this will maybe pick you up out of that funk that sometimes we can all go through when we experience um, the loss of a loved one or you know maybe you lose a job or um, go through a divorce or a breakup or um, a good friend that you've been friends with a long time. Maybe you guys, um, it's just not working out. A lot of things you can go through can give you a feeling of loss, a feeling of separation. And sometimes we all need a little pick me up. So I hope this is helpful. As always, and all you're getting, get understanding. As always, much agape love to you.